You have been the president of International Academy for Quality for last two years, and you, being an Indian, you have uh, uh, you know consulted with countries such as Japan, China. Uh, on the on basically, you know, China. You mentioned you know it's been uh, aggressively working on building quality standards. You have been you know associated with them as well. Well, what difference you see in India, you know, and what should be, you know, your recommendation to, you know, to, to the policy makers with regards to building quality standards in India? See, we obviously need to learn from others. So every country, every region has its own uniqueness. Mm -hmm. And quality management, like anything else, since it's got to do with people, it is influenced by the socio-economic environment. Mm -hmm. For example, in India, those sectors of economy which had highly competitive environment, like automotive sector, mm -hmm. quality has improved substantially. Mm -hmm. But those sectors of economy which do not have a supportive environment, a competitive environment, the need for quality is not so strong. While some sectors where the competition came in the Indian companies did not improve quality, they just disappeared, mm -hmm. like white coats, mm -hmm. consumer electronics, we just didn't say. In the automotive sector, we contribute, we focus, and we have improved substantially. So one is to create that. Second is to create an environment where quality flourishes. Quality, it's easy for people, to, organizations, entrepreneurs to get adequate uh, inputs on quality. Mm -hmm. So that's where the international infrastructure is needed. They focused on uh, low cost, mm -hmm. low quality products for many years. Mm -hmm. Now, as their cost of manufacturing is going up, their focus has moved to quality. So, mm -hmm. there is a national committee on quality chaired by the Prime Minister of China. Okay. And last year, I was invited uh, in September as the National Quality Month as a keynote speaker. Mm -hmm. And that uh, function, it was a nationwide function. Mm -hmm. I was in Beijing, but every state had similar function. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> there were four ministers of the government of China who were present. The, pres and the Prime Minister of China was supposed to inaugurate. He couldn't make it for some reason. It was on 1st of September. So they had a special function on 15th September where the Prime Minister uh, personally got involved. They wanted me to come again, but I couldn't go there because of certain uh, commitments I had. But the whole focus is how do we create that national infrastructure and quality. Mm -hmm. And I've been involved in developing some of these infrastructure things there. And some things are very neat to learn in. It's a very comprehensive approach to quality promotion. And so national infrastructure for policy, you know, if, if it is getting created, so who should be the you know, stakeholders you know, participating in, in this kind of you know, formation? Obviously, the business community, okay. as well as the government, okay. for certain part of the infrastructure only they can create. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> then quality professionals have to be involved. Okay. For example, in this uh, committee on quality, okay. there are many people who are quality professionals okay. who are members of that, uh, they call it a state council. Okay. Okay. And they are the members of this committee. Okay. And some of the state council members okay are active quality promoters in China. Mm -hmm. And some of them, I have inducted them as members of the International Academy for Quality in the last three years.